Hey, you know what? I'm so excited because today we're gonna take a look at my new freaking tool, the animated Instagram carousel kit for After Effects. It's a cool template that is gonna help speed up your whole week of content creation process. Let's start. Before we start, if you want to buy this template and make me rich, click the link in the description. Now we can start. When you unzip the file, you will find four different folders. The first one is this tutorial that we are watching right now. The second one is with the After Effects files separated into five unique styles. And also, you can find a folder with the same projects saved in the previous versions of After Effects. This is for all the weirdos who haven't updated the After Effects. What are you doing, guys? It's just a click do it. Then we jump into the fonts I have used on these projects. They are free, but mind for the Adobe fonts you have to run the Creative Cloud first. And the last one is the quick preview of the styles, starting from my favorite, the minimal, then the editorial, the next one is the colorful, the bold and the glitch one and I think we can go for this one with the colorful let's jump back in the first folder you can watch what is going on with all animated slides at once and I have created a control panel that you can adjust almost anything and let's try to adjust this project I'm gonna start with the background, click on that and choose, let's say, a darker version of this and it has been applied to every single slide and then I'm gonna change the color of the circles with, let's say, a lighter version of this blue color, hit OK and then I'm gonna adjust the elements, uh, let's go with the black one cool but I cannot read the text so I will go with a gray maybe whiter and click OK and I'm gonna continue with the rest ones and as you may see you save a lot of time with this control panel the project is almost ready with a couple of clicks then the highlight let's go with the black but I cannot read so maybe I will leave it as it is so cancel that the cool part is that you can kick out with this checkbox the highlights if you don't want it so I'm gonna bring them back for this one and now I'm gonna change the title I have a separate controller for this one let's make this color and then let's change the text into something maybe whiter it's cool hit OK and maybe now we can change the numbers on the top right part of every slide make it whiter perfect and also the footer that is the additional information on the bottom side of the slides now another cool feature is that you can create custom text color for every single slide when you click on this checkbox you disable all the features below meaning title, text and every single color and you have to go one by one on every single slide and adjust the colors. I'm a good boy and I have done my homework. I have already created the script for this one and the only thing that I need to do is to copy and paste it. Here inside Notion I'm gonna copy the title is my first slide, click copy and then I will jump inside After Effects open the first slide, number one, control A the text and paste the new, I'm gonna create some spaces here, then if I go with control A on the text, select it, I can adjust the font if I want, but for this one I will keep it as it is, and I'm gonna go with a bold version of these fonts, then I'm gonna align this, great. And before jump into the second slide, let's preview what we have done. And the animation is ready, you have only to paste your text. Yes, this is cool and 
this is why I love it. Now jump to the second slide and I need the text for this one so I'm gonna go back into Notion and let's copy the first here maybe more copy double click on the text paste it and adjust the position with the align perfect and this is my favorite feature of this project I'm gonna go to the adjust highlight pick the selection tool and I'm gonna move this highlight right here in the animation has been that let's say it's important for this slide and I'm gonna highlight again the adjust go to the FX control and here's the cool part I can adjust the width and the height if I want and the animation will remain the same and you don't have to adjust any keyframe and you will get the smooth animation for every single highlight now if you hate highlights you can just hide them one by one if you want or all at once as we saw in the control panel let's try one more and adjust again the width so as you may see animation remains the same it's cool another thing that will save you a lot of time is the pre-made animations let's start with the titles you have titles and elements and when you open the titles you can preview the animation of every single title let's pick one the first one copy and we can paste it somewhere here and adjust the position and that will not affect the animation and you can type something here let's go and type first part and it's ready and you could do the same thing for every single slide now let's go to the elements also here there are pre-made animations I'm gonna hit space for preview and let's pick one for the slide let's say not two three go back to the elements select copy and go to three and paste it adjust the position that will also not affect the animation now we need to adjust the colors and here's the cool part I'm gonna select the element and press U twice it will reveal two color controllers and I'm gonna change the color for the first one let's go with the black and this one can go with a white one let's say and I'm gonna copy this and paste it to slide number four press again U twice and I'm gonna again readjust the color and maybe the white one with the darker version great and this will not affect the comp on the slide number three it's the same composition with different colors and this is really really cool because you don't have to go and duplicate every single time a pre-made animation we have to render these slides properly for Instagram and here's my trick we need to render all these slides at once so I'm gonna run Adobe Media Encoder I'm gonna highlight all the comps and drag and drop them into Media Encoder I'm gonna highlight everything yes I know that okay waiting for the encoder to run great I need H264 for Instagram not GIF or GIF disable or enable the audio if you have and let's go down to the bitrate I'll go with CBR mostly around 12 let's say it's cool and then click OK and press the cool play button here and wait for your files that's all guys i hope that was helpful if you have any feedback for improvement or any other suggestions you can write them in the comments below also you can send me an email here until next time stay creative